Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have one of the most anticipated reviews probably, or at least I would assume, of my channel's history, and that is because we have the very first Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian figure to hit my channel, and this, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, is the Medusa Ceratops. Now this is actually a figure, this isn't one of the regular releases because this was offered to me to review by David Silva because this is actually one of the production samples that had shown up without the kind of gloss look. He got a matte finish on a few and it was supposed to be a gloss finish. So he had them kind of left over and they were just kind of sitting there. He offered one to me to review. So here we are now with that review taking place and again a little bit of early access to one of the Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian figures and also this is just going to be something that is extremely cool to have in my collection kind of one of those super limited matte finish versions of the Beast of the Mesozoic figures but again the Medusa Ceratops is the one we are looking at and looking at it right there through that little window it looks unbelievably nice I mean I was excited for these beyond belief from the very start but actually seeing this kind of Right there on the other side of that window just has me so much more amped for this release and all of the releases. Wave 1 is just kind of right around the corner and actually should be releasing and starting to ship very soon if they haven't already. But again, something I'm so excited to have here. If we take a look at the box, you have a really nice image that we had just seen on the front of the box. But up here it does state we have 20 points of articulation, realistic movement and detail, and there is a profile card included. And then we also have a little bit of information over here as well as the Beast of the Mesozoic logo and the Ceratopsian series 118th scale dinosaur action figures. And then if we take a look here on the back, we have another beautiful image again of the Medusa Ceratops over here, as well as some information on the species down here. And I believe this is kind of a preview of the card that is included. And then over here, we have kind of a checklist of some of the other figures that are included in the line, the 1 18th scale, and then the 1 6th scale. These are wave one, of course, you can see wave one checklist up here. And then if we take a look over here on the side, it's a little close now, but we also have an image of a Triceratops here, as well as the Beast of the Mesozoic logo yet again. And then on the underside, of course, we've got the barcode, but we've also got some information over here as far as who created the figures and all of this fun stuff, as well as the different people that worked on some of the paint jobs and sculpting and all of that as far as this Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian line goes. So again, I am incredibly, incredibly excited to get this open and take a look at it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So once we open it up, we have the card that was shown there on the front. And look at that absolutely beautiful looking artwork. Really wonderful artwork. And having the card included is just the coolest thing. And then we have a shot here on the back of the actual figure included, as well as again, some information on the species so this is really cool i actually love the fact that they are now including these cards with this new ceratopsian series something that they did not do with the raptor series so that's super cool that they're doing that with the ceratopsian series and we also have if i could pick it up some assembly information here because of course the tail is not connected so you have to connect it yourself so i'm going to actually do that right now and here is our Medusa Ceratops right here in front of us and I am not gonna lie to you guys I am absolutely flabbergasted with how beautiful this is just unbelievably gorgeous looking here in person both the sculpt and paint everything included here just looks again absolutely amazing way better than I expected them to be which I had some pretty high hopes in the first place for the Ceratopsian series after having numerous raptors from the raptor series I knew what I was getting into with the Ceratopsians but man this is just even better than I ever imagined it would be so without further ado let's go ahead and get a closer look right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of our Medusa Ceratops you can see just how nicely done the overall skin texturing to the figure is and also just how much color variation is included in this there is just a ton of really nicely chosen tones of color for the head you could just see so much variation even right here there's like darker areas and lighter areas of like that orangish coloration right there it's like a mixture of like an orange and a red in certain spots but you have some nice areas of dry brushing and the entire dinosaur seems like they've dry brushed most of the areas out with different variations of color really making all the detail pop quite beautifully 
see within the yellow areas that there's like a grayish dry brushing kind of and uh, I feel like all the colors that they've chosen as far as just in general, the colors of it looking really natural somehow, but looking super flashy. But even the colors that they've chosen to use as the dry brush paint, uh, you can see looks really, really good in comparison to the colors that are underneath it. But again, sculpt wise, it is fantastic. The skin texture looks great. There's just so much really nice detailing all over the figure as far as the scale detail goes. Even up here, you could see lots of kind of cracks and crevices within that area. The beak looks really beautiful. You could see the nostrils right there. The beak is painted with a nice grayish coloration. And of course, the mouth is articulated. And you could see inside the mouth a little bit there. Looks really, really good in there. You could even see if we look up here some detail in there on the inside of the mouth it's a little hard to get into because my light is just not all that good right now but you can definitely see in there that the detailing within the mouth looks great as we move up here into the eye area the eye socket you can see again the detailing in that area as well looks really really nice beautifully painted eye with a bluish coloration and a nice black pupil you have some more yellows right there like some dark purples within that area you also have some blues spotting down here on the side of the dinosaur you have the very first spike there that is painted with a nice gray similar to what we see up here on the beak and they continue to of course run the length of the frill and you can also see how nicely done they've painted the horns i like how they've kind of ringed the horns with like a darker gray and a lighter gray it looks really really cool and very unique for the figure definitely a fan of that as we come up here into the frill you can see how beautiful that skin texture continues to appear as far as that really nice large scaling up here and again so many different variations of color within the frill area you could see a very nice very flashy looking design right there and i love the way that's been painted as well you've got those stripes similar to what we see on these horns up here on the top of the frill which also looks really, really cool. If we take a look at the opposing side here of the head, you can again see how nicely done the detailing is as well as the paint. Man, this is just incredible. I am so absolutely in love with this figure already. And again, I have the rest of Wave 1 coming once they start to ship. And I am just unbelievably excited now for those to arrive even more so than I already was just looking at how beautiful this is. I've been just anxiously awaiting this day for many many months and i'm so happy that it's here now looking at how nicely done this figure is you can even see like a nice yellow wash that's been included right there to kind of creep between the scales there up on that side of the frill that looks really really cool as well if we look here behind the frill you can continue to see how nice that scale detail is it's kind of a lighter purple back here it seems and then up here on the back of the neck you have a really nice dark coloration there a very nice dark black that transitions to the purple right down to there as well as some more of the orange and then that yellow coloration that we see right here and then again some more color variation throughout there's just a ton of paint application to the figure and it's really cool the way that it appears on the figure here as we start to move into the neck you could see some nice skin folding skin wrinkling and everything going on there within the neck as well as just generally the structure of the neck as i turn it you can really get a very nice idea of that you can also see the throat down here coming back into the body you could see some musculature to the chest some nice skin wrinkles again here and here right behind and in front of the leg coming down here into the leg you can see how nice the muscle tone appears really nicely sculpted out scales and everything the entire way down the leg beautiful foot sculpt with some nicely painted nails with a grayish coloration coming back up into the body you can again see some more skin detail as far as like skin wrinkling and skin folding and everything right there coming up into the upper part of the body you can see it's a very nice beefy animal very nice and healthy very well fed really beautiful scale detail again within the entire stomach region of this dinosaur that has been really nicely dry brushed really bringing that detail out quite beautifully the paint application of this is really beautiful and honestly i feel like the beast of the mesozoic figures are some of the very few out there that when you get a figure it's just as good if not better than what you see on the prototype as far as the actual paint application that the factory released figure gets and that is truly an impressive aspect of the beast of the mesozoic line and in my opinion a huge compliment for the overall quality and care that goes into their figures 
up here on the back, you could see some more of the really nice scale detail as well as some osteoderms picking up in certain spots, really nice ridges that run along the spine of the dinosaur as well. Coming down here into the side again, some more really beautiful scales, but you can see even some osteoderms picking up here and there. Really nice musculature in both the thigh and calf region. Again, very big bulky legs on this dinosaur as you would expect to find. Coming down into the foot, the foot sculpt looks great once again. Really nicely painted nails with a grayish coloration. And then coming back into the tail, you can continue to see how beautiful that scale detail is the entire way out the tail, as well as some more of those osteoderms or uh, scoots, whatever you'd like to call them. You also have some more of those ridges that run down along the spinal column. And then looking over here at the opposing side, being a dinosaur in a completely neutral position pretty much, and it's up to you how you pose it, you're probably not going to see too much difference on this side that we didn't already see on the previous side. But again, it looks incredibly nice in both the sculpt and paint aspect on both sides. I just love looking at the very fine detail of the figure, like these really nice skin folds and everything down here. But I love the paint as well. Like, I just really, really like how much of the dry brushing they've applied. You don't really see that too much when you're looking at the prototype images, I feel, until you really get the figure in hand and you can actually take a look at how nicely done the paint is because some of these paint applications are really bright and flashy for what you would probably expect to find on a Ceratopsian, but then when you actually get it in hand and you take a look at it, you can see how nicely done the paint application actually is, how smooth the transitions between a lot of the colors also is, but again, generally how nice of a job they've done applying it with like that really nice dry brushing, making it generally look like the real coloration of the animal and not just paint on a figure. Very, very impressive in every way if you ask me but again both the front and rear foot over here look really nice as far as both sculpt and paint again really nicely painted nails those nails do appear to have a gloss coat to them so they shine quite realistically and the entire underside as well sports a really nice paint application but also a sculpt even the dry brushing has been done down here you can see the cloaca back here so we have again as accurate of a medusa ceratops as you're probably ever going to find and uh I am definitely just 100% blown away by how beautiful this figure is, and to say I am impressed would be an understatement. Now I just cannot wait to get the rest of this line, but I guess after we've viewed this and kind of drooled over it for a little while, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. So as far as the articulation goes, and there is quite a bit of it from what I can see on the figure, we do have the articulated jaw, but it's very stiff. I feel like I'm going to have to use a uh, a hair dryer or maybe just some hot water to kind of loosen that up and then I'll move it around a little bit and I feel like that will move probably a lot smoother once I do that but you also have articulation right here in the neck you also have articulation right here in the neck you have articulation here in the elbow and then down in the wrist as well and then midsection here articulation you also have the hip the knee and again, a lot of these are really stiff because I have not moved them around. I literally just got this out of the packaging. And then you actually have two areas of articulation down here in the ankle and foot area right there. And then you also have tail articulation. So you can create about as many possible positions for your dinosaur to appear in as you could possibly want. Again, articulation in about as many possible ways as you could expect a Ceratopsian to articulate. And that is one of the best features of the Beast of the Mesozoic line, not only the fact that you are getting an incredibly beautiful, very accurate, and highly detailed sculpt, a really nice paint job, but also lots of articulation with your figure, which is, again, pretty much the only way to term that would be the total package. As far as the size goes, if we go from the tip of the snout here to the tail, you are looking at about 12 and a half inches, or about 32 centimeters in length, and then for a height to the top of the frill, you were looking at about five and a half inches or around 14 centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon next to our 118th scale Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series Medusa Ceratops. And you can see next to these figures that this really sports some darn good size. And that's one of the things I was kind of wondering just how well they'd size up when I actually get them in hand because it's always tough to tell uh, through images online, through prototype images and all of that, 
until you can get them in hand and really get a good feel for the figure and just hold it in your hands and really check it out it's tough to truly tell what the actual size is but i am here to tell you right now that the size of this medusa ceratops is extremely extremely impressive and now seeing this medusa ceratops in hand i am really interested in seeing the triceratops the adult when that does officially release but again a really beautifully sized ceratopsian from the beast of the mesozoic line and a quick update and i just want to say how beautiful the range of motion is for this figure like look at the poses and everything you could pull off on this like really really cool poses and it moves so nicely especially if you look right here at the head like look how nice and smooth that is as far as the way you can move the entire body around and create pretty much any different pose that you would like. It's really, really nicely articulated. And actually, an update now, the jaw is working picture perfect after I uh, moved it around a few times. Super, super nice, super smooth now. So this Beast of the Mesozoic Medusa Ceratops is beautiful. It is everything I had hoped it would be and so much more. It truly is just absolutely gorgeous in person again this is a line that i have been really really anticipating i was really excited for the initial raptor series but i was definitely more excited for this ceratopsian series which is pretty impressive because i was pretty psyched about that raptor series back when that was originally releasing but again these ceratopsians all look unbelievable each and every one of them releasing in this line looks honestly unbelievable and there are so many cool species of ceratopsians that you just don't see get figures very often if ever and thanks to beast of the mesozoic they are bringing them to us here and boy are they ever bringing a ton of really awesome looking species and figures to us and just like i stated the medusa ceratops is one of those a species of ceratopsian that you just don't see get figures very often and you definitely don't get figures made very often of the medusa ceratops in this size because it is again very large as far as the size goes compared to what you would normally get for a medusa ceratops the size is extremely impressive but if you just take a look at the sculpt in the detail it is just beautiful in every way there is so much really nice very fine detail to the figure and everything throughout is just so brilliantly done so much really nice skin texture the scale detail is just off the charts you could just see so many different varying sizes of scales you can see that there was no laziness with the sculpt of this and i'm sure it's exactly the same with each and every one of the other ceratopsians there is just sculpt for days as far as this medusa ceratops goes but that can pretty much be said the same for the paint because there is just so much paint application on the figure as well and again like i had stated earlier one of the most exciting aspects for me of the beast of the mesozoic line continuously and this was with the raptor series and now i can see it clearly with the ceratopsian series is the fact that the paint application looks just as good on the actual factory released version as it did on the prototypes and sometimes in some cases it actually looks even better and i would actually say most cases it looks better which is really really impressive overall to say that the actual product that you will get in your hand is just as good or better than the prototype and you don't get that very often from any company and again, that just shows you how much love and care David Silva puts into his work here with these Beasts of the Mesozoic figures. He truly wants to give you the best possible product. You can tell by the updates that he continuously gives fans, but also just the figures themselves. When you actually hold one in hand, you can't help but feel the love through that figure. And that is exactly the feeling I get with this really, really nice looking Medusa Ceratops. Again, 1 18th scale Medusa Ceratops, an absolutely incredible release in every way. So if you would like to pick this up, I will include a link right now to where you can do that on the Beast of the Mesozoic backer kit pre-order site. So make sure you head to the description, go buy yourself this or any of the other unbelievable Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series figures and make sure you keep checking back as I will have again each and every one of Wave 1 for review here as soon as they arrive. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.